it's just about 20 past eight. That's the wreck behind us turning around. We're going through the eye of the needle. Uh, most of us are going through the eye of the needle. But um, I'm taking an alternative route and I'm taking a friend with me who's going to demonstrate um, an alternative route that might sometimes be necessary if the eye of the needle is not accessible. Usually it's not easy to go around the front of these rocks because there's a certain amount of water. So I'd like to show you all the alternatives. Okay, we need to go over the rock. of the needle we're passing to left hand side of the top of the rocks and that on the horizon those rocks there the furthest end farthest end that's where we want to get to but in order to get there sometimes it's necessary crawl along that rock face. Right, this is where it gets tricky. And for my next demonstration, I also require the assistance of a member of the audience. Right, as you can see, it's not difficult, but you need to be aware of what you're getting yourself into. From that little bit of scrambling, um, you go straight ahead. Coming through the eye of the needle, it is possible at spring low tide if there's enough sand on the beach to walk on the sand come around the front it's easy enough you don't have to do the scrambling but sometimes the beach is impossible and then you need to do the scrambling don't slip Then up there, that is what we call the Dierkrai plaque or the crawl space, and you literally, literally have to do a bit of crawling there. It's about 25 to 9, and we're at the crawl space. I have uh, convinced um, some of my team to uh, demonstrate how this is done. There we go. It's about a five meter drop down into the hole. I'll try to get a shot of that. A bit of length there. Five meter drop into the hole. Um, I refer to this hole as the jacuzzi. Hopefully, on the way back, we can show you what the jacuzzi looks like. But that's oops, what's happening here? Why is it dark? Oh, there we go. 
That's what's required through the crawl space. And the second biggest danger, I can't remember whether I've said this already, the second biggest, biggest danger is bumping your head. If you're wearing a pee cap with a visor, I recommend that you turn it backwards so you can see where not to bump your head. This is probably the most exciting little bit of scrambling that we've got along the way. Might be a good idea to remove your backpack as well. Uh, sometimes the backpack can get snagged on the rocks overhead. Uh, one of our group is actually a little bit acrophobic. Um, I've taken many acrophobes past this point in the past. Initially, they're not comfortable with the idea. But once they see how it's done and how it can be done, they manage to get through without any big hassles. Just take your time. And you can always stop along the way if you're not feeling comfortable. There is enough space to sit down and relax. There we go. Turn the Turn the cap backwards so that you can see where not to bump your head. This is a very good demonstration actually. It's about 20 to 9. Everybody's passed through the crawl space. There's the wreck in the background. And the crawl space from the other side. And here's the path along the ledge. And quite a nice view. about 20 to 9, a couple of paces down the way, there's a wreck in the background and the way we came and here's our next little cave. It's not very deep. I'll just have a quick pop in. Ah, it's, it's about 10 meters maximum to the end. And that's the way ahead. It's about quarter to nine. Have you been to the cave? Yeah. Yeah. And that yeah. beach at the, at the far end. Yeah. That's where we want to be. And this is the view from this point. That's the way we've come. Yeah. 
And here's the next cave. Also not a very deep cave, I believe. Sorry. Right. There is a bit of scrambling if you want to get to the top. I'm not going to do all of that now. And going left towards the east. That's the way we're going. Quarter to nine still. Coming down from that last cave. On the rocks over here. I call this useless bridge. It's a bridge, but you don't need to use it. And then you go over towards that way, head towards the head running into the sea over there, and then over the top of the rocks, and down on the back side. This is just past the useless bridge and we're going up that way and around the bend and that way and apparently we've got some dolphins I'm going to pan around point again point again I'm not seeing the dolphins yet. They're in that general vicinity. Come on, dolphins, jump! Nope. I'm gonna give up. <laughs> 